Well, we can speak now to Andrea Montanino, the Director of Global and Business and Economic Affairs at the Atlantic Council in Washington. A good morning to you. Uh, it's a complicated situation, isn't it? What are your predictions um, that a deal can be reached? Well, I mean, at this stage, you see three possible scenarios, and maybe one is most likely than the others. The three scenarios is, first, that there is a, a deal, I say a big deal between all the creditors, including the IMF, and the Greek government for uh, uh, a sort of bridge loan for several months until probably March 2016. And in the meanwhile, there will be a discussion for a, a next, uh, uh, next program, a next uh, uh, package of, of, uh, of financial assistance. A second option is that there is a deal only with the Europeans, without the IMF. Uh, the IMF has strict rules in order to uh, loan money. Uh, in order to lend money and therefore cannot be in a position to close a deal. So the program with the IMF will be put on hold again until March 2016. And the third option is, of course, a default. So no agreement and therefore all, over the weekend uh, the decision to go through capital controls. Well, this issue has obviously been uh, something that's consuming European leaders, but how concerned are people on the other side of the Atlantic where you are? Well, there's, there's quite a lot of concern here. Let me say that they are following the, the situation very closely, uh, the administration in particular, and uh, the fear is that there can be another Lehman brother. So no one knows what can happen if a country within the Eurozone, even if it's a tiny country, not a big, a big economy, uh, but if one country within a currency union make a default, there is a fear that we don't know, they don't know what can happen. So there are a lot of pressure here to European leaders and to the Greek governments to reach a deal. So what are the concerns then? Is it that there'll be a domino effect uh, where the Greek default leads to the unraveling of the Eurozone? Well, I think the concern is that now Sorry. Europe is uh, going out from the, from the slowdown, from the recession. There are good signs, good hopes for growth. And a, an event like this can, uh, can create a big break, can stop this process. And therefore, Europe can remain back in, uh, in, in a growth path. So the concern is what can be the role of Europe in the future if it's not able to grow sufficiently? And the Greek event, a Greek default, can be a big, big uh, stop in this process. Well, to some members of the Greek public, public, it does seem like a bit of a no-brainer, doesn't it? Default on the debt, end the tough austerity measures. But what would happen to the Greek economy in that case? Well, I mean, the, the, this would be, I mean, the, the, the biggest problem would be for the Greek economy, clearly for the Greek people. Because with, with a default, with no access to the markets for the next, I don't know, 10, 20, 10 15 years, uh, maybe with another currency, uh, extremely devaluated. I mean, Greece buys energy, buys oil in dollars. How can they buy with a devaluated uh, currency against the dollar? So uh, I see a lot of uh, problems, a lot of trouble for the Greek people if they go through, uh, through a default. Andrea Montanino, thank you for talking to Sky World News.